like Teddy Gray on stuff. Wooshy gives a proper reaction. And now for something completely different. Ladies and gentlemen, Tall Army, welcome back. Teddy Gray, back on stuff. Welcome, one and all. Danny Carey, Numa, Tall, live in concert. I haven't actually heard the original version yet. I will be listening to that very soon. However, I trust you guys. You guys told me you don't even need the original. What you need to hear is this guy on drums because you've been obsessed. And I have. I've listened to the pop so many times and mainly just for the drums. I replay the first bit over and over again just to hear it sort of going around in my head. Absolutely fantastic. Cannot wait to see the drum cam. So without further ado, like, comment, subscribe, and let's go. Make some noise. I'm clapping prematurely, I don't even know what's to come. Is that just me or is that off? Sorry about that. Oh, the slowdown. Oh. He brings his arms like closer in together. Is there a reason for that? Maybe it's more tension. What does that say? Signature drumsticks. Oh, it's just telling me the length. It's telling me the length of Danny's shaft. Awesome. Thanks for that. Thanks for that, Vic Firth. I like that. That was just like an intro. What? The time signatures are all over the place. I've figured it out, I've fucking figured it out. It's to accentuate, um, what's the guy's name? Maynard, the, 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 that's his last name, right? But what's his first name? 
Rutyard Kipling, cool. Why is that in my brain? Autism. Um, he was keeping it along like a, like, I, I don't know, I think it was like a triplet time signature. The drummer I'm talking about. And then the vocals, it was upon the last syllable of that bar. The, is it the kick drum that was used? Because it's the kick and the snare at the same time was used to sort of accentuate the vocals. So maybe that's how he's staying on time. Maybe that's how he's staying on beat. He's, he's following the vocal pattern to such a degree that he knows when the end syllable hits, he knows which which one to, to do, you know? I don't know the correct terminology. I was going to say which one to hit, which what to hit, which drum to hit, which... What's the thing called? Drum barrel? Why? Why? People, I don't even have people thinking my education was subpar. He's always going at a different speed. You know what I find the most infuriating thing about Tool as a whole is that I'm very used to, coming from a solely rap and hip hop background, I'm used to like nodding my head. I'm used to being able to like, to, to, to catch a rhythm and then I stay on that rhythm for a while. Maybe it changes on the pre-hook, the hook, the chorus. Maybe it changes a little bit with the flow. But there is no way that you can like bob along to the beat because as soon as you found a rhythm, the rhythm changes and then you're moving a different way and you're sort of like being more conscious about, at least I am anyway, I'm being more con. maybe it's because I'm in front of a camera to be fair and not many of you are when you're listening to this song I imagine, but I digress. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just, you know, conscious about what I'm doing with my movement. So I'm putting a lot more effort into, into thinking about the song, which is then obviously it, over time, it's gonna make it more memorable because it's gonna have buried itself in the brain using several different synapses that I don't usually use when listening to music because it's a, it's a long and regular time signature. Genius, fucking genius. Who are you? Who are you? Child. I might have found a rhythm. Spirit. 
Oh, that's the one, that's the instrument from the beginning. Human octopus just dropping it. Let's go Boston Celtics. His hands are all over the place. The drums gonna have him done for sexual assault, bro. so sick how he just stopped it. I didn't realise you could do that. Woo! <laughs> 
the vocals. I This is my favorite one. to do that. That, that's insane. Now, if you haven't come away from the, 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 the screen at this point and you haven't closed the video, indulge me for a moment because the only thing that I have that sort of closely resembles a feeling of what I just got for that, that I could potentially give to you, is this. Okay, so what you are about to see is somebody using a drum machine. Uh, I believe it's an Akai MPC, MPK. Um, but it's basically a drum machine. This gave people, uh, it was heavily popularized within the hip hop community or, you know, those from lower class backgrounds because it meant that if you weren't classically educated in music, you could still create uh, an entire beat just using one thing. Um, so the Akai's are incredible, but there are some people who use it to the degree that Danny Carey or Danny Carey uses drums. Arab music is one of these guys, and I just want to show you what, what a drum kit can do, what a drum machine is capable of when it's put in the right hands, and the sort of insane concepts that people can create surrounding it. Okay, let's go. Just for context, there's a beat, and he's going to be creating the beat over. Okay, I feel like I have to give further context just for anybody who is, is not familiar with this machine. Um, so these little black keys that you can see, um, let me just hyper zoom in on that. Um, so these keys here that you can see, uh, each one of these has a different function. I might just keep it just on that, but you also want to see the crowd get hype as well because it's part of the feeling. Um, I'm getting excited just talking about this. I hope there are people that actually watch this. I, I, I don't know. I might be doing this for, for nothing at all. Um, but I, I'm excited nonetheless. Each button, it does a different thing. Um, so they will have a, a preset uh, noise or sample or, uh, or instrument to each button. So each button will have to be memorized by the, the artist uh, or by the producer. Each button will have to be memorized. They'll also then have, that's one preset. And then if they click uh, the second preset, all of those buttons change. And then it then becomes the second preset of, uh, of buttons that they've already set up. Um, so they have to know what each of those keys do. And it's never the same. Like it's different for each track that they do. So. So cool, man. To change the pitch halfway through is insane. He has to manually change the pitch. You ready for the madness? You're not ready.
changes the, the, the signature, same as Danny. Changes the time signature again. Leaves them hanging. And then he just changed the preset. So that's why you're hearing different sounds now. He's isolated certain presets. And that is how many times I've watched that. I know that that's the end. Um, uh, <laughs> whew, um, part of me, if any of you, you know, did get this far, this is going to be a very long video. But if any of you did get this far, then um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm glad that I could, uh, I could give you the same feeling that that you get watching me. You know, um, hopefully, you know, if you have got this far, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought to to what I just showed you. Um, you know, because I, I, I can't see your guys' reaction to anything and you always get to see mine, so, you know. Um, then you got to, to see my reaction at something that I, I already know that I enjoy, so you get to see the same level of enjoyment. Um, and it's the, it's kind of the, I, I don't know, you know, because I can't see me, but I assume it's along the same levels of enjoyment that I get when I, I watch something for the first time and I really enjoy it, you know. Um, but yeah, uh, I don't really know why I did that, to be fair. It's just halfway through that Danny, um, the drum cam. It just reminded me of this, and it gave me similar feelings, like the, 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 the subtle things that he was doing, like those little symbols that, that he was crashing at the end there. It was just little subtle nuances, just little touches of, of, of gold, of little magic, just things that, that he's doing that maybe he's not even aware of that are that like out there to him. They're probably normal, but to everybody else watching, we're just we're just like, how have you, how have you just done that? And then just walked off and, you know, gone to sleep at night. But like, you just did that. I don't know, man. It's baffling. Uh, people with talent, you know, it's baffling. Um, but yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed this incredibly long video. It's been your boy, Teddy Grow and stuff. I'll see you guys soon. Deuces. Yeah.